Hello and welcome to Esbjerg Airport. It's been a while since I've last done a trip report here on the channel, although um, it's actually not that long ago that I last published some trip reports, although I did that over on a channel called Travel Plus Loyalty. And if you would like to check those out, I will leave a link to them in the video description below. But today is a very special trip for me. It's, it's a trip that I've been working on for about a year. And it's a trip that I've been dreaming about and hoping to uh, do for many, many, many years. Um, as I say, I am at Esbjerg Airport. It's basically my home airport. It's the closest airport to where I live. Um, it's not really a huge airport, but it has its charm. And there are two uh, regular routes out of the airport here. One goes to Stavanger and the other one, and that will be our flight today, brings us to Aberdeen. <laughs> So as mentioned, Esbjerg Airport is well and truly not a very large airport and mainly serves as a base of operations from where the oil, gas and wind fields of the Danish North Sea are served. But for now, let's head over to the check-in area because I have a piece of luggage that I would like to check in. Ooh, plane models! Well, let's not get distracted. Let's head over to the check-in. So uh, one of the reasons why this is uh, quite the uh, funny trip for me is because um, I remember very well like in the early 90s, mid 1990s, traveling to and from this airport. Uh, but ever since the airport has kind of fallen asleep a bit, um, but it's trying to make a comeback now. Um, so yeah, it, it's really a trip down memory lane for me, traveling out of Esbjerg Airport after so, so many years. But before I completely succumb to this nostalgia, it is time to head through security. And as you can imagine, at an airport like Esbjerg Airport, that is extremely hassle-free. So literally within seconds, we are inside the departure hall, which even has a duty-free shop. And for those who like it, there is free coffee, courtesy of Esbjerg Airport. So uh, you can see it is truly a tiny little airport um, but I always I always like these small airports I think they have kind of charm and everything is a little bit more cozy and and um, it's like one big family it's just a very different travel feeling than when traveling from the large intercontinental hubs of uh, major airlines um, but uh, since we're talking major airlines, I haven't really talked about the airline yet that uh, we will be flying with uh, to Aberdeen, and that is Logan Air. And um, what do you know? Our aircraft is just pulling into the ramp right now. And while it is doing that, I'm thinking we should get a little bit more backstory to the airline Logan Air, and who could better provide that than a true Scotsman? We recently celebrated 60 years uh, as an airline. Um, I think that's one that probably comes a bit of a surprise to, to many people. Um, it's now known as the largest domestic airline in the UK, which is something we're, we're all very proud of, and it's taken a, a while to get to that stage. Um, yeah, I mean, it's obviously got a few um, famous famous facts uh, about the airline with the, the famous Barra Beach landing, um, one of the only scheduled um, services to land on the beach every day, uh, and operating the shortest flight in the world, uh, which is circa 80 seconds um, between Westray and Papa. Westry. Um, we're proud to be in a position as well where we've got many um, global interline partners now um, connecting from Aberdeen via Manchester, Birmingham and so on, and the likes of Emirates, uh, British Airways, uh, Etihad, Qatar, United Airlines and, and, and a few others as well. So well and truly an airline that has undergone quite the development in recent years. But it looks like our aircraft is ready to go, so as soon as we've passed through the passport checks, it's time to say, let's go to Scotland. So, uh, welcome on board the flight to Aberdeen here with the Logan Air. Uh, it's, of course, not a huge aircraft. It's an Embraer EJ145, um, but uh, not too bad. Uh, seats are configured in a uh, two and one um, configuration. And, uh, 
quite comfortable the seats actually. The seat pitch is definitely alright and as a reference I'm 182 centimeters tall but it is also quite obvious that this is not a brand new cabin as there is quite a bit of wear and tear. This does of course also mean that there aren't any kind of power plugs and Wi-Fi on board is also not offered. And due to the size of the aircraft and the configuration of the seats there are only overhead compartments above the rows with two seats. And those overhead compartments are also rather small, so not really a space for your carry-on luggage. But as I say, it doesn't take away from the fact that the seats are still very comfortable. After a short while in the air and our way over the North Sea towards Scotland, the onboard service started. And that comprised of the offerings of coffee, tea or water alongside a shortbread. And while I was enjoying myself with those offerings and the views I got meanwhile, I also had time to ponder a little bit about the strengths of flying Logan Air between Denmark and the UK. Because what are the advantages? In my books, the choice of using airports like Esbjerg and Aberdeen, both not huge intercontinental hops, is a major advantage, as procedures at those airports are quick and everything is within a very short walking distance. So I simply don't have to spend as much time at the airports while traveling. And that, despite me loving everything about aviation, is a major plus as it reduces my overall travel time. But luckily, after having had all these big thoughts about our trip today, I still had time for one of my favorite activities on this short 1 hour and 15 minutes flight, and that is taking a power nap. So uh, let's get inside, we need to clear customs and uh, hopefully I'll have a little bit of time to go a little bit on the discovery of the airport itself because it's the first time here in Aberdeen for me and the first time that I flew Logan Air, not too bad, it's a small aircraft, it's a short trip but uh, definitely quite a lovely journey. So after having gotten inside the terminal and having passed immigration, well, the luggage was basically already waiting for me. So very lovely indeed. 
and Aberdeen Airport in general is very nice looking. I mean, it's nice and modern and despite being quite a bit larger than Esbjerg Airport, still offers easy procedures and short ways. So to summarize the Logan Air flight between Esbjerg and Aberdeen, in my books, this is the perfect shortcut between Denmark and the UK.